How much daddy needs a bar? This month marks the seventh month, the longest time that I've been able to go without using an inhaler. Uh, every year so far since I've gone plant-based, nice. um, it's increased. And so this month marks uh, another another milestone in that. So that's really awesome for me. Like yeah. the, the, the less time I have to deal with my inhaler, uh, the better. So you think it was the diet in combination of your, let's say, uh, physical activities. Mm. Other than that, the diet worked for you. Yeah, I, I think um, it was a, a big factor um, because I've, you know, it, it, I can't really say it was exercise because I've been doing um, physical exercise for lo you're, you're lots of years. You're a pretty active guy. Yeah, I mean, I've been Way playing. Before, I've right? been playing sports since yeah, I was a kid, yeah. right? So it's uh, it's continued. Fruit and vegetable consumption in general is definitely uh, helpful uh, because of the high content of antioxidants and high content of fiber, all of which are anti-inflammatory. So it's um, safe to say like it works for you, the diet. Uh, so far, that's what, mm. I can, that's what I can see. Yeah, if I think about uh, uh, our family history, you know, we have a lot of family that are, that are asthmatic mm. and yeah. uh, at, at the very least they have allergies. So to, to also be able to be around other family members who kind of suffer from these ailments and get to see... Not really, it's not a direct comparison, right? Because uh, we're obviously different people, but genetically, we're the closest mm. variants of mm. each other, right? So, uh, you, you and I share a closer bloodline than obviously, you know, some friend of ours. Mm. So, it, it, it's uh, interesting in that sense where, you know, I didn't get to grow up around family, but now that I am around family and I suffer from this ailment, to see how uh, other members uh, with closer DNA are also suffering from something similar. Mine is skin asthma. Yours is skin asthma. I had I had a I had eczema growing up. My back was terrible, man. Yeah. I was so embarrassed about my back growing up. Um, so I Genetics feel you. Are, I, I feel you there, man. <laughs> I had all the ointments, man. I was so self conscious about my yeah. skin before. Sometimes you think, what the fuck did I do, or yeah. what the fuck did my grandparents do to deserve for me to deserve this shit? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we won't get too into it today, but there, yeah, there, yeah. there are um, dietary mm. issues that can cause inflammation and things like eczema. Bottom line, I started out with 35 patients who had uh, suffered from severe asthma um, uh, for an average of 12 years, all receiving long-term medication, 20 including cortisone, were subjected to vegan food for a year. And in almost all cases, medication was withdrawn or drastically reduced. There was a significant decrease in asthma symptoms. You know, if I have to use it, I will. I'm not. I'm not dumb about it. Yeah. Um, I do. I do want to go extend that that goal. But if I have to, I'm not going to be like denying myself oxygen mm, <laughs> just yeah. so I can be like, I got to get to eight months <laughs> and I'm dying. You know what I mean? That would be stupid. Yeah. So at the, at this, that's good. If yeah. I have to, I'll tap out, man. Yeah. But you know, it's like when you finish, you finish. You know. Oh man, there Keep was going. Pizza Hut pizza in the house the other day. I was like, man, that looks yeah. good. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, but at this point, I think personally, I'm I'm willing to try anything. Like every day, I feel like shit. Mm. Like every time I wake up, I feel like shit. So like when you wake up every day and you have this terrible headache, and that's the first thing you feel in the morning, that's probably saying something, right? Your body is saying something to you. And that's yes. why I'm willing yeah. to try your shit. Although I'm not I'm not ready yet. I still have to <laughs> do a lot of preparations for that. It's sure. just like winning. It's smoking. a mental shift. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, mental it's a mental shift. shift. It's not just about what yeah. you eat. I'm not there yet. Mentally, I'm not there sure, yet. Sure. But I'm willing to. It took me years, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie and be like, "Oh, I did it overnight." Yeah. Some people claim takes, they do. It takes a lot of work. For me, some people cold turkey, right? Some it's people smoking. do that. Yeah. Some people do that. For me, it was. Um, there was a lot of leading up to going plant based, but there was a there was a time that uh, kind of a milestone where I can I can remember where. I raised my own ducks in Hawaii mm. and you know, you, you raise them, they hatch, they, you know, there's, there's more ducks. So you take care of those ducks. You know, sometimes my, my roommates would, they would cook one for uh, like Thanksgiving or something like that. And that was fine. At that time I wasn't, I wasn't plant-based. Um, you know, I was definitely eating all kinds of meat, the, but there was a time where <clears throat> I had to get rid of one of my ducks because uh, there was too many males. When there's too many male ducks, they start killing mm. the the in the eggs. Yeah. They start pecking the eggs and <clears throat> they start trying to you know um, 
basically population control. Mm. They don't want too many males. So the some of the females, would um, they wouldn't kill, obviously. They let those live. And so I had to get rid of one they're, of my male ducks. And, they're just as fucked up as we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ducks. Oh man, you should see ducks made. It's pretty it's pretty bad. It's not uh it's not pretty. It's nothing yeah. pretty. So I had to get rid of one of uh, one of the male nice. ducks yeah. and um I had I it was already dead so I put it on the chopping board and sorry <laughs> sorry for the, the graphics if your kids are listening you probably want to yeah. turn this off. I'm about to talk about decapitation. Yeah. So I Daffy put my duck gets shot all the time by Elmer <laughs> Fudd. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. No problem. In this uh, in this story, Daffy Duck got his head chopped off. <laughs> and uh, when I when I hacked that head off, man, and I, I looked I was looking at my the duck's head, I was holding, you know, holding in my hand, I was looking at its eye and I was like, This is kind of fucked up. <laughs> I don't think I really enjoy this. Like, uh-huh. you know, just I didn't enjoy it. But if you're really hungry, let's say for survival, you would you Sure. Yeah. There no and, problem and with vegans that. don't uh or people who are plant based or vegan don't really oppose. If that if you have to survive like mm-hmm. that, that's one thing. Mm-hmm. But when you willingly participate in the suffering of um sentient beings as as they put it, um, then that's where the problem is. <laughs> Why don't vegans care about the rights of plants? After all, they're alive too. Vegans murder plants. If we consider the reason that humans and non-human animals have the ability to feel pain is so we can escape danger and avoid life-threatening situations, which means from an evolutionary point of view, it would serve no purpose for them to feel pain. If we look at this from a creationist, religious point of view, why would a benevolent and compassionate God give plants the ability to suffer and feel pain when they can't escape? That doesn't sound like the action of an all-caring and all-loving God. Not so much uh, <clears throat> you're doing it for survival. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. That's acceptable. Like, mm-hmm. if that's all you can eat, whatever. Yeah, because I think the, the argument could be, uh, I think there's an argument there, a good argument there, because uh, we have options now, right? We do. Yeah. So <clears throat> we have lots of I options. I think, given the options, let's just say, if we have options to have slaves right now, or still for us to be enslaved. There are places that do. <laughs> that still take that option and then it's an option <laughs> let's just say let, let's just uh, uh have a uh, uh how do you call that a uh, uh thought experiment thought experiment there you yeah. go thank you so, yeah that we're in that situation where we can say all right let's just uh, have a choice or we have we have a choice and then we still choose to uh, do A instead of B because yeah. it's more convenient. Right, right. That says a lot, right? Mm. So we love convenience. Yeah, <laughs> We're, we are literally addicted to convenience. <laughs> Considerable evidence now indicates that Alzheimer's disease is primarily a vascular disorder, based on a number of lines of evidence that point towards impaired circulation of blood to the brain. Vascular risk factors such as high cholesterol can be thought of as a ticking time bomb to Alzheimer's disease. What's bad for the heart may be bad for the mind. And the emotional burden in oh, your family, yeah. right? The family, I mean, if you get yeah. sick too early. Yeah, there's two, there's two things that I take away from that. One is uh, uh, obviously you want to live longer because uh, sure. you're, you're trying to take care of your health. Mm-hmm. But other than that, living with the minimal or minimum impact that of suffering that you Mm, can have while living right Mm -hmm. so for me that's a healthy let's say lifestyle sure that one can can have Mm -hmm. one can enjoy in this reality and at the same time you have a minimum uh, minimal impact on on how others will suffer because Mm -hmm. of your existence Mm -hmm. is that a fair yeah uh, statement that's a that's a big part of it Mm -hmm. and uh when when you're having a, a difficult time with uh, you know the the diet aspect, it's always a good way to remind yourself the bigger picture of what you're doing. Um, yeah. Because obviously, if a million people chose to do something less um, detrimental to our planet, then mm. that makes a big difference. Yeah. So it always starts with one person. Yeah.